The Assistive Technology Learning Resource Centre was set up here at the Men's College to assist the students within the population who have um, either learning difficulties or physical impairment so that they can access the curriculum to the same level as their peers. That's the basic idea behind it. Um, we have a number of students with low vision and blindness and also students with low hearing. So um, a lot of our technology is built around that particular cohort of students. But we also have a number of uh, various software, software uh, which is to help students with dyslexia. Um, we also have a dyslexia screening program and we're in the process of building our own um, database to see what other kinds of technology would be beneficial to our students here. So that's basically the idea behind it. Um, within the Emirates, I think that this is a very uh, forward-thinking idea. Um, it's probably the best equipped area within special needs education in the country and the colleges have a policy of allowing people from outside of the college system to come in if necessary for screening and also to use the the assistive technology devices. This is the Sarah text feeder. It is mainly designed for people with low vision, blindness or uh, dyslexic. Uh, it helps students by scanning texts and reading them aloud. Objects seem to jump. Now cover the other eye. The student Object can uh, adjust the volume. Louder. Louder. They can also adjust the speed of Faster. reading. Faster. Uh, they can manipulate jump. many things. For example, File. they can um, go to submenu. Skip visual settings. Text font. They can Submenu. adjust the text Area font. Black chef. Comment. Courier do not check. Courier do check. This is the Topaz. It is specially uh, designed for people with low vision impairments. What it does is that it magnifies the text, not only the text, but also other things like phone numbers, uh, medicine brochures. So it helps uh, students adjust with their academic life as well as their daily lives. You can adjust here. You can magnify up to 16 times. You have a gliding table. You can lock this table. You can use a beaming light to guide the student to uh, the material. Well, the purpose of assistive technology for, for learning resource is to enable a student, for instance, who might have vision problems, who would not otherwise be able to read a normal text, to either change that text from their curriculum books into Braille, for instance, or to um, magnify the, the, the text by means of some of the technology that we have here. You can have um, technology that will enlarge the print onto a screen or onto a computer screen, and some of that is portable. In the case of somebody who doesn't have any vision, we also have um, portable devices where you can load a book, an e-book, onto the device and then that's read back to the person. And that has all full facilities for note taking, for stopping and starting and all of that kind of thing. So basically the idea is that anybody who is impaired in any way in either learning or physically uh, is not disadvantaged in terms of uh, being educated. That's the, that's, the, that's the idea behind it. This is a screener for dyslexia. Uh, it helps us identify the major strengths and weaknesses for students with uh, special learning uh, difficulties, particularly dyslexia. This is another um, keyboard which is uh, customized for people with motor difficulties. For example, the student with one click 
with one pressing by pressing any of these buttons he can open a file he can type using these large print keyboard he can type whatever he can select all by one click he can copy and he can paste he can also cut and again paste he can also access files which are saved on this computer also by one uh, this is the win software it is specially designed for people with dyslexia uh, it is also a text reader however what's important about this software is that as the student is uh, writing uh, it can predict words for him as you can see here on the screen and the student let's say can choose um, one of these words and go on as you are typing it will read for you uh, this is about students being um, enabled to access the curriculum that is the same as their peers in a way that does not disadvantage them so it's about um, adapting text in a way that is accessible to them through either magnifying the text, making it into audio, or um, allowing the student in some way to be helped to get down to the core of what's been taught in the classrooms with no, no disadvantage to them. This is the Onyx camera. It is uh, highly suitable to be used in classroom settings. Uh, where the student with low vision impairments can see what's actually on the board or the facial expressions of the instructor. He can use it to magnify the, his the text on his books or he can use it also to see, as I've said before, um, other objects in the classroom or people coming towards him. You can use this remote control to increase. We also have other reading uh, portable devices that are uh, that the student can carry uh, with him to the classroom. They are also um, they can scan and he can save his books on the uh, disc, the card. The Assistive Technology Learning Resource Center here is a reaching out to each and every student that comes through the doors, whether or not they are physically impaired or whether they're not physically impaired. It's got to do with allowing any student within this country to access the curriculum that is available to them here in the higher, techno in the, the higher colleges by means of adapting the materials to suit the need of that person.